Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here in the stores this morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health uh, and happiness uh, regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, uh, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome this morning isn't that great isn't that mighty isn't that majestic that god himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Let's give him a big hand this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you richly, beloved and friends. Sincerely from my heart, this morning I release a blessing upon your life, and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every year in your life. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' name. Let's give him a hand today. That's the prosperity and blessing of the Lord, divine protection. Let me break it down today. I pray today that God will bless your homes, God will bless your family, God will bless your children, God will bless your finances, He will bless your business, He will bless you on the job. So whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper. God will provide for you financially that you will be able to put food on the table, pay your bills, and do whatever work God wants you to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Isn't that awesome today, beloved and friends? I cover everyone under the precious blood today. I build a hedge around your life. I build a hedge around God's people today, and I cover them under the precious blood, for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious. <laughs> And so powerful, the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. This morning, every spirit of witchcraft, oh, be a demonic forces, evil, blights, generational curses, with a first, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I break, I destroy under the precious blood, whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free this morning. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus Christ, you are free indeed. Yes, my friends, Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Healing belongs to the child of God. Let's give my hand to him. Hallelujah. Father God, today I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Mortal man of clay, dip me in the river of liquid fire. Born out every sickness from this body, born out every pain, born out every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. As I minister your words today, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Yes, oh Lord God, I pray, I pray this morning that this message, this message this morning, beloved and friends, hallelujah, this message, hallelujah, which, which will be very straightforward in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, praise God, it will bring branded into the conscience, the conscience of every man and woman in the church and everywhere so that every forever afterwards you will not be able to get this out of your conscience that the shape of this will be branded there. A famous, my friend, preacher once said, 
Beloved and friends, in this congregation, in this congregation, in a, in a very pew, in a, every road, this sits a person with a broken heart during the years of life. I found this to be very much true today. Yes, in every pew, in every road, there is a person, beloved and friends, with a broken heart. Yes, the astonishing thing about broken hearts is that, beloved, they do not break in the same way. We praise God, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Hallelujah! Sometimes, beloved and friends, they come as a, a tsunami and sweep absolutely everything in the paths, leaving a trail of destruction. Yes, my friends, in, in front of everyone, it touches, beloved and friends. Sometimes, yes, hallelujah, but at other times, they come, they come, my friends, like a soft summer breeze. Yes, when a phone comes calls when a phone call say it's cancer or a loved one looks at you in the face and say I want to break up I want a divorce no I, I no longer love you you must you you most people describe days like these as the worst days of their life these type of days are days you pray never call never call what you do when they call my friends what to do yes my friends do when trouble hits you so hard it knocks the wind right out of you it makes you feel beyond beyond the shadow of a doubt that this is the worst day of my life what do you do my friends and beloved Turn to Deuteronomy this morning, for chapter 31, verses 6. It clearly says, Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or, or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. Yes, praise God, beloved and friends. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And what do you do? What do you do when all hell breaks loose? Yes, in your life, my friends. Friends, you turn to the to first Peter, first Peter chapter 5, verse 7 clearly tells us, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Yes, my friends, he cares for you today. Hallelujah. And he cares for you. My friends, the whole world can be against you, my friends, but he cares. He cares for you in the situation you are standing in right now. Are you hearing the man of God? He is right next to you to start you start to believe the word of God and take it literally he literally cares for you my friends he promised he promised I will never leave you I will never forsake you and that's a promise my friends I always open with that every morning regardless of the situation you were going through remember he still and knows he know that God is God in this situation you are going through what going to stop you from reaching where you needed to go my friends God won't allow it to happen if God allows it to happen remember remember that uh, all things work together for good for good to them that love God hallelujah when everyone left me all I had was Jesus hallelujah when I was in trouble all I had was Jesus when the gates of hell come after me all I had was Jesus hallelujah through my lonely nights all I had was Jesus when my husband left me yes all I had was Jesus you may say when my wife left me yes all I had was uh, was uh, when the world left me beloved and friends uh, all I had is Jesus uh, hallelujah when things were going wrong what I had was Jesus uh, yes when I was in darkness uh, all I had was Jesus uh, when you left felt happy hinted to you had in Jesus uh, when when he was on your when he, he you was on your knees uh, yes you had that was Jesus when you when you left 
never felt like giving up oh how did it tell us being Jesus when you were in pain you or you had his all you had was Jesus when you pass come back to haunt you all you had is Jesus when all I had ever had all you ever had had my friends all is about you ever need my friends is Jesus let's give him a big hand today he promised he will be with you to the end he promised that's a promise today that's a promise of almighty God so be still be still this morning be still God is God he is God he promised you I promise he says I promise I will not leave you I promise I won't forsake you yes I promise I am in you yes your situation I'm not alone today beloved and friends no I am with you always even on to the end of this world hallelujah praise God God has delivered the children of Israel in the same is the same God that will deliver you in your situation today the same God in of Genesis is the same God that works with each and every one each day the same God that was with David when he fought Goliath in this is is the same God that, that is with you the same force that was behind David's yes is the same force that is is with you today yes my friends and beloved please remember today please remember God speak to you through your mind the devil speaks to you through your mind and what I found in my life as a child of God is that there is a spirit that attacks your mind hallelujah and makes you believe that you are not worthy of the promises of almighty God this spirit commonly comes as a still small voice that whispers it whispers in your ear beloved and friends do you really think that God is going to hear your prayer after you sin oh it says to you my friends you are not worthy of praise of God or asking anything from him you mess up yes you mess up too often you are not good enough you are you are a good Christian you are not a good Christian you are a, a not a good child of God listen listen to me today your relationship with God is not dependent upon your performance yes my friends your perspective your perception or your perception of God needs to change God is not a cosmic CEO who is looking down on your life waiting for you to slip up and feel fall short Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God Almighty confess today your sin confess your sin he is faithful beloved and friends to forgive us and cleanse us cleanse us of all unrighteousness praise God and change your perception of God today my friends then hallelujah Jesus continues yes I love these words in their familiar famous yes too many people come to me all all who are labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest Jesus said my friends come on to me yes oh these words in Greek are so my friends did the hallelujah the only the only who who carry burdens those who carry burdens who was struggling who found it hard hallelujah to go sometimes beloved and friends wonder if you ever make it true this has come to me my friends today yes beloved and friends I will give you rest he says I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and Lord of me for I am gentle he says I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your soul for yourself for your soul aboard my board is lighter and that is yoke and is burden to do the father's will today my friends it was his relationship with his father and he said if you're struggling if you're struggling you're perplex if you're anxious or you're frustrated you are not you are not satisfied with the way life is going today come come he says come to me come to me and I can 
reveal the father to you and that he says we are life we are life changing it's life changing in romans in revelation it will give you a new sense of belonging today beloved and friends hallelujah praise god i'll bring you into true rest say the lord hallelujah how many of you you don't need to put your hands in the night but this one i ask you many of you hallelujah praise Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. They are not much rest in your commentary culture. We can look never, ne never in vain. So do you know that uh, recipes today, my friends? Do you know what it is? Uh, then to uh, in, then to ask, my friends. Uh, ask there is only one place you can find rest in tonight. Uh, yes, this morning in the bosom of the Father, Jesus Christ. Let's give him a big hand. To you, my friends, I can do it. I can tell you, my friends, about it. I can pray for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. And only Jesus can do it today. Only Jesus can do it this morning. If there is nobody sitting, sitting here this morning who is crying, crying out for a handle to handle to touch on the will, embrace them, lips will kiss them. How long for someone dead afraid of your sexism and skepticism your indifference there comes a scared man in our midst who says who says my friends it's okay it's okay hallelujah i'm here i'm here with you says jesus i am for you and your pain yes for beards in the depths of my being, my own being, he says, hallelujah, my friend, this is not pious poetry today, this is the meaning of Easter, yes, the meaning of the crucifixion did not remove Jesus from us, it simply made it possible for him to touch me, I mean, but no, no aliens, none of Mary Magdalene, but to me, your Christian life and mine don't make sense today. Today, unless my friends the depth of our beings we believe that Jesus nobody knows what hearts says no but knowing seeks us out whether our poverty whether our pain today this plea is plea is to his people this morning his his promise to us come come to me come to me he says come to me not to the church hallelujah not to a Bible study yes natural animal conference yes my friends but come to me said the lord hallelujah don't wake wake you do to your head on straight you act clean yes you free of sin selfish dishonesty you in love but come come now frighten Frightened, angry, lonely, empty, my friends, depressed, whatever situation in tonight, tittling towards in fear, I make you where you live. Yes, my friends, he says, I love you. I love you as you are not you as you should be, my friends, but you're never going to be easy shipping. Hallelujah. Slipping. Hallelujah. Praise God. Regardless, regardless of the situation you are in right now, regardless of of how hopeless it looks beloved and friends hallelujah regardless of how the odds are stacked against you you want my friends you i want you to remember these two things this morning you are not alone you are not alone in this it may feel like you are alone you may have to cry yourself to sleep this day but you are not alone said the lord don't uh, don't listen to your feelings my friends don't listen to your feelings he promised you in his words he promised you in his words he will never leave you he promised he will never forsake you hallelujah and during that time beloved and friends yes of praying this with you every single step of the way he is describing the bible as a friend as a friend that stick it closer than a brother hallelujah let's give him a big hand to him. He stick it closer than a brother he stick it closer than a friend the 
amazing thing about the human conscience is this beloved and friends they're not but not but even if you don't believe what I'm saying this morning you believe what I'm saying my friends hallelujah praise God but even if you reject the truth this morning of what I'm saying if you reject there is rooted inside of you my friends a conviction a conviction which you can can suppress with the years by which is there there is nothing less which is telling you my friends that these things are so today hallelujah praise God so so take a look back through your life this morning at all hell you have been through my friends all the heartaches you have been through all the fake friends yes the fake relatives when people talk about you all all the hurdles you have overcome my friends the challenges you are facing life praise god he was with you he wasn't taking yes you you for this far to leave you in this situation yes my friends god is for you god has a plan for you God's plan today is, is to prosper you and not to harm you, my friends and beloved. He has a future, a future and a hope for you, my friends. Hallelujah. This is not the end today. It's not the end regardless of how dark and dismal it may be. This situation may look like this. Yes, my friends, it's not the end today. It's not the end. Hallelujah. It's not the end. Praise God. Let's give my hand to them. Do you really believe, my friends, that Jesus Christ loves you today, my friends? Yes, not that person next to him. Yes, my friends, not Mother Teresa, nor Billy Graham, or at the church, at the world, your pastor or your prophet. Yes, but he loves you beyond worthiness worthiness beyond my friends fidelity and infidelity today that he loves you in the morning sunday morning evening rain without a caution regret bountifully limited breaking move no matter go on down my friends he can't stop loving you my friends this is jesus this is jesus of the gospel my friends jesus my friends of my own journey this is not something I read in a book or no one one sermon this is the Christ that by the grace of God I met in my own life hallelujah let's give him a big hand today hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus the second thing I want you to remember this morning is Psalms 30 verse 50 clearly says weeping may endure for a night hallelujah praise God but joy cometh in the morning joy comes in the morning this might be your time to cry beloved and friends but believe me this morning you will get through this weeping may endure for a night yes but joy joy cometh in the morning hallelujah let's give him a big hand today hallelujah joy will come in the morning joy will come your way weeping will not remain all your life my friends many are weeping today because of their sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities they are carrying in their bodies today but my friends and beloved the man of God is back here to tell you today yes that God is seeing your tears he's seeing your heartaches he's seeing your pain many are sick in hospitals unto death your family has already received a bill and a report that states that you will not live you will die but I'm here back this Thursday morning to tell you beloved that you will not die you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet he is still the healing God he is the healer of our soul and he is a healer of our body yes my friends he took 39 stripes upon his body for me and for you for for my sickness is and your sicknesses and today beloved and friends 
no matter the situation according to medical doctors there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease that is plaguing mankind all across the world but beloved and friends i'm here to tell you today that jesus took a stripe for each one of those sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness and beloved right now let me go a bit further the God who created man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils, yes, and man became a living soul. That God today, my friends, know every bone, every marrow, every joint, every kidney, every organ, every tissue in your body. Just like the man who designed this watch, he knows every part of this watch. He knows how this watch is functioning. He knows it more than any one of us. And my friends, God who created us knows every part of our being. So there's no big deal and no big thing to heal you today and work a miracle in your life. So today I want to remember, remind you, those who are listening to me from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, any part of Europe, today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for deliverance. Today is your day for salvation. Today, God gonna wrought that miracle in your life. And this morning, whether you're suffering from cancer, AIDS, COVID, diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, blood issue, blood dialysis problem, post-trait cancer, what the case may be today. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you live. Today is your day for a miracle. If you're suffering with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, today is your day for a miracle, my friends and beloved. If you having, if you having a migraine headache and that migraine headache is killing you, today God is going to touch you and heal you. If your blood is messed up and you have diabetes, yes, and you skin and bone you cannot eat and you're malnourished because you cannot eat certain food my friends god is touching your blood right now and he's healing you from every sickness and pain and disease and infirmities those of you have a mental sickness you have a nervous breakdown a nervous wreck you have a trembling in your hands in your feet in your body god is touching that person right now and healing right now in the name of jesus you're receiving the healing from the hands of god it's it's a power of the Holy Spirit. God is touching you. He's going to restore your sanity, some mind, strong and healthy body. And he's going to restore your health and strength. Yes, my friends, those of you with arthritis pain in your joints this morning, in your fingers, in your elbows, on your knees, in your toes, God is touching today. God is working a miracle. Those of you who have stage 4 cancer and that cancer is burning out your inside, today is your day for a miracle. If you feel a Heat right now it's a work of the Holy Spirit God the Holy Spirit is born on that cancer yes my friends God is renewing your liver though that man that drank too much alcohol and his liver switch up my friends today God is giving you a brand new liver that man with a hole in his heart God is giving you a brand new heart that person yes that relative who kidney has shut down right now your both kidneys have shut down and you're in a dying bed right now call upon jesus and you're going to touch you through the power of the holy spirit and give you brand new kidneys you cannot go through an operation you're too old for that right now but god is touching that kidney right in your body and replacing it with a brand new kidneys if you have faith today you will be healed in the name of jesus you will not die but you will live if you trust him and believe in him today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth yes all manner of sicknesses I see a man with a growth in his stomach the growth is good right now in the name of Jesus those who are demon possessed today I command those demons yes I command those evil spirit to leave you right now in the name of Jesus those harassing demons I command to go right now I feel a tremendous anointing of God the Holy Spirit I know the anointing has already reached your living room Room, your dining room your kitchen your car your office on the street with your phone wherever you are right here there is a tremendous anointing of God the Holy Spirit God said in his words we must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover but God is not limited to that today he is no respect of persons where there is no distance and barrier where prayer is concerned so right now wherever you are I'm gonna send for that anointing prepare prepare to receive your healing prepare 
to receive your miracle, prepared to receive your deliverance, prepared to receive your salvation, prepared to receive from the hands of God right now, wherever you are, right now, in the name of Jesus, right now, be here in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. It's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Let's give him a big hand this morning. Right in text me for me. I let you know what God has done for you. It's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes, my friends hallelujah go back and check with the doctors let them check you that sickness is gone that pain is gone that uh, that that disease is gone from your body god has replaced that that that, that tissue yes my friends and that organ that is damaged in your body in the mighty name of jesus beloved and friends it has been a great joy and privilege this thursday morning to be here to minister the word of god and to pray for you i love you very much in the love of god do have a sweet and wonderful day. I'll see you in the next session by the grace of God in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen.